Hi guys, welcome back to the vlog. The boys are just sitting here being quiet so I can film this. And then they're gonna watch TV while I get our menu together. But today's vlog is gonna be us getting ready for the Oregon Coast trip. We leave in two days and so today we're gonna go grocery shopping and I'm gonna meal prep as much as possible and then get the trailer all set up and I figured I'd take you along with us. So I'm gonna sit down, get our menus planned out and our grocery lists figured out and then we will go from there. I'm going to make our packing list so I make sure everyone has everything that they need clothes wise and item wise and then also the food list. the list of all the days we're gonna be gone so I know exactly what weather types we're gonna be in so I know all the like jackets and shoes and everything we need for that for the boys for myself for Tallulah Ben can handle packing himself and then I went through and I went day by day and planned out all the menus for breakfast lunch and dinner and then as I wrote that I started a grocery list behind that so I have my three lists now we're gonna head to the store and do all of this All right, I've been putting it off long enough. It is two o'clock. It is now Friday. Um, I still have to pack me. I still have to pack the boys. I've gotten almost all the food together, but the food still needs to go in the trailer. I still need to prep the food that I'm pre-making, and I still need to organize and clean out the trailer and take you along for all of it, so. All right, so what I'm doing right now is I'm going through, I'm sitting here and I have our menu all written out and I'm going meal by meal by meal and making sure I have absolutely everything that we need. So as soon as it's done here, I'm just gonna go put it straight into the trailer. All right, so I have all of the meal items together except for the few things that I'm gonna pre-cook, but I wanted to get all this stuff put together and then I will pre-cook this stuff and then get that set off into the fridge out in the trailer, but I wanted to show you everything all together. Here is all our lunches and breakfasts and dinners and snacks and the storm, there's a storm brewing. Watch that. Of course, as soon as I get the camera out, like it's not going as crazy, but it's like every camp trip we've done, when I'm bringing the clothes out, it starts storming, which it's been beautiful all day long. So I had <laughs> all day to bring clothes out. So I still haven't gotten the boys and I stuff together. It's still in the laundry. So I'm gonna go get that done. The food stuff's all done. That's kind of actually the hardest part is the food, making sure we have everything. So I just have a couple things to bring out and then put back in. I have a couple things on my list to make sure that Ben has packed like down below in the storage stuff. And then, yeah, I'm excited. My parents just got there. We're staying at Harris Beach, I believe. And my parents just got there. My parents actually left maybe three weeks ago and got on the road two or three weeks ago and got on the road and they stopped at a whole bunch of places on the way um and i mean that retired life so they got to harris beach today and they sent a picture and it looks gorgeous like i haven't camped at the beach like the oregon coast god in like 15 years maybe 20 years i think probably close to 20 years so i'm super excited to go um I don't remember if I've like filled you in. So my parents are gonna be there. My Tomorrow we head out, my sister and her husband head out and my in-laws and my sister-in-law head out. And so we're all gonna kind of caravan together. We're gonna stop in Lapine, Oregon for the night, which is, it's that's near Bend. Um, so you had a campground there. And then on Sunday, we will get to Harris Beach. And then Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, we will be at Harris Beach. And then Saturday, we all, actually, I think Heather and Cody might be leaving Friday. But Saturday, my parents and my in-laws and us will head to Bend, Oregon. Actually, we're going to be staying in Sisters, which is like one town over. Um, we're going to stay in Sisters on Saturday night and then head home on Sunday, which is Father's Day. So I'm super, super excited. The weather is supposed to be gorgeous like there's only one day with like 20 percent chance of rain which it's the it's oregon it's the coast anything can change um but our camp trip we did last weekend it rained like the whole time and it still was so much fun so i'm really looking forward to this oh i just remembered i need to pack dvds for the boys because my sister's trailer has a dvd player my parents trailer which i'll show you that like on a vlog coming up my parents trailer is huge they have a fireplace they have two couches um one of their couches is like 
heated and like has massagers and then they have a kitchen island and like it's ridiculous so I will show you their trailer in a vlog coming up so I'm sure they have a DVD player so I'll bring in case like the weather's really crap um, I'll bring some movies for the boys to watch so I'm getting excited definitely a storm coming pretty Sorry if you can hear the dishwasher going. And the boys getting the bath. All right guys, got some stuff done. We got um, breakfast burritos made, or like the insides of the breakfast burritos. I was able to do um, 10 of these, and then I made two things of um, taco meat, because one night we're gonna do tacos, and another night we're gonna do nachos. So, and I always put corn in my meat just to make it go a little bit further. And yeah, so we got that going. All I have left to do meal prep wise is I just need to make the dressing for coleslaw because we're gonna do coleslaw two different nights. And the recipe I have, it makes enough for two bags of coleslaw. So I just make the dressing ahead of time and then I bring two bags with me and we're gonna do it two different nights. And so then I just dress it right before we eat it because I really, really do not like soggy coleslaw. <laughs> um, so I just have to get that going and get the kitchen cleaned up and that all cleaned up and then I still have to pack me and the boys and it's seven o'clock. It's 8.35, but I am happy to announce that I am completely packed except for my bathroom makeup bag. So I'm partially packed, not completely packed, but welcome to my hell. There is clean clothes, clean clothes, all of those. I think this is one reason why I have been avoiding packing all day long because I just had tons of laundry that I needed to put away and I hate I'm gonna set you up here in the closet I hate putting laundry away so um but it's not bad this their boy stuff goes really fast now that they're upstairs and we turned Ben's office into their own closet um and we have like this really great closet system so like this whole side's rems rems miscellaneous stuff williams williams and so i just need to get it separated into piles and i'm good to go and it's super easy i have an idea i don't want to pack too much and so what we do for the boys because they don't have a closet ben and i have closets on either side of our bed and the trailer and so we hang up everything and i'll show you later when i get in the trailer but we have i hang up all my stuff and then i have little bins on the bottom of the closet and i just have my socks my underwear and my bras like sports bras and stuff in there other than that everything else gets hung up like my swimsuit my tank tops all of that and ben does the same thing like his socks and underwear and like undershirts and stuff like that are on the bottom and then all his clothes are hung up um but the boys just have their bunk beds and so the boys beds are full-size bunk beds but i picked up a whole bunch of these cubes um they each have like Rems are red, Williams are um, black, and then they each just have a tan one. And so I just line them up on the wall. Um, so it kind of covers the window because one, I don't like them messing with the blinds. Two, like there's emergency hatches. And so one, they can still get to it if we really need to, but three, like I don't want them to like sit there and play with it and be like, oh look, the window's open, you know? So um, I kind of put this, it like blocks half the window. Um, and so I just lined them there. And so since we just have this and it's a little bit longer of a trip, I don't know how I'm going to do it. Um, so I normally put like all shirts in one, all pants in one, and then pajamas, underwear, and socks in another one. But I think I'm just going to have to do like 
outfits together, but I don't even know. So we'll see how I go about this. But let's go into hyperspeed and you can see me clean. I forgot the fans going on, but first round going on, we have all of Rem's pajamas. Williams socks, Williams underwear, Rem's underwear, Rem's socks, Rem's swimsuits, Williams pajamas, and Williams swimsuits. The swimsuits, I think I'm gonna put the pants, put the pants and the tops with the tops. That's how I'm gonna break it up into their bins. These ones are all Rem's, those ones are all Williams. Just like that, I'm sweating even with the fans on. The boys are packed. Yes, it's kind of messy to do it this way, but they're gonna mess with their bags anyways. I just throw it all in. They know where everything is, and so this way they can get themselves dressed. I just tell them get new underwear, new socks, change your pajamas. Everything has its own spot and they know where it is. So it's kind of messy, but they get it. Last, I just need to get up there and get their straw hat. All right, guys, it's the end of the night. It's 10 o'clock and I'm finally, finally packed, except for my makeup bag, like my toiletry bag. Um, but that I'll get in the morning because I need everything in it tonight and tomorrow. But I thought I'd show you a final walkthrough of where everything is and how it's all organized. Ben has his hat hanging up and I'm super bummed. I bought these hats for us and his came yesterday and it's got an American flag and I have one that has like teal and pineapples underneath. And mine doesn't get here until like tomorrow or maybe Monday. So total waste, but we'll have it for the 4th of July. But Ben has all his stuff up, um, extra jackets, extra blankets, um, just for, and our pillows, just for when we are driving, for when we are driving, they just have to be stored somewhere so they don't fall all over. And my closet is all set to go. I have my tank tops, my short sleeve, my long sleeves, my swimsuit, Tons of sweaters, tons of leggings, some jeans. Down below, I just have like my underwear, my bras, um, my socks, my workout tracker, and then it's Father's Day weekend. And so I have all our Father's Day cards and stuff in there. My dad hates cards. And so I got him like the biggest card possible. But I have all of my stuff in here. It's exactly like how Ben's is. He has all his stuff hanging up and like the odds and ends stuff in little baskets at the bottom. This bed folds down. It's called a Murphy bed. And so we have a couch here, the couch lays flat and there's storage underneath here. Um, but when we wanna bring the bed down, we just lay the bed flat and then this comes down and it's a queen size bed, it's super comfortable. It comes out the same distance here so we can leave it down at all times if we really wanted to but I just like the look of it when it's up and it keeps the kids off my bed so like their sandy, dirty feet don't get all over my clean sheets. And then there is a privacy curtain in case we needed it. I just have um, hooks to hang up the boys' hats and mine. Same with Ben's. These hooks are like the best thing ever for camping. We have hang up Tallulah's leash. We hang up our keys. We hang up all our sunglasses. We have tons of hooks in the bathroom. We use them here to hang up the pots and pan holders. For traveling purposes, we just put everything in the sink so nothing falls around. And then when we get to our destination, we obviously take it out of the sink. I reorganized this just for this trip because we're gonna be gone. This is our longest trip we've ever taken. And so apparently to my children and my husband, camping equals chips. So we have three and a half bags of chips. And so those are up here so they don't get all squished. Down here is where our shoe bin is, which I love this. We can just throw our shoes in and then they're completely out of the way. So just go under here. Underneath here, it opens up and we have Tallulah's extra stuff. And then we have our boots, our rain boots, um, anything like that that we don't necessarily need right away, but if we need it, we have it. All of Tallulah's beds and blankets and toys and stuff stay under here. And then when we get parked, I always, we lay it out flat for her and then her food and water goes under there so she has her own spot. If we needed to, this could fold down into a bed, but the boys have bunk beds, so that's where they sleep. But if we ever needed to, we could always put them in there. We store all our drinks and coffee and cups and stuff up here. <laughs> Can't go wrong with whiskey and camping. 
when we get stopped that gets moved out but for traveling purposes that's where it's at and then over here that it's not three o'clock in the morning <laughs> it's just not correct this is I have huge anxiety about not having medicine when we need it and so I have an entire pharmacy right here with us so we have everything we could possibly need we have inhalers we have vomit bags heartburn medicine allergy medicine anything you name it we got it Tallulah's food and doll cookies anything we need to know about our trailers here and then Ben's medicine bag is in back so if we need stitches or anything like that it's a good thing about traveling with the doctors they can handle it our microwave I did have to put the tortillas in there just because I didn't have a better spot for them tortillas are in there this time we actually didn't need to put anything in the stove this side it just kind of has like pots and pans and random miscellaneous stuff that we don't need to get to very often so it's tucked away there the boys beds look crazy right now just because all our blankets are thrown on here their sleeping bags are thrown on there just again for traveling purposes as you saw when I was packing them up instead of doing suitcases for them or bags we do the bin system super easy there's a bin for underwear and socks there's a bin for pajamas a bin for shirts and a bin for pants um the pants has like pants and shorts and sweats same with the shirts short sleeve long sleeve jackets just to make it easy they're gonna tear through whatever they're looking for so i might as well have it in bins so it's a little bit easy and it makes it so they can't mess with the blinds at all I do have a little bin here that has like activities and games and colors and stuff like that in here for them in case they get bored or if the weather's kind of crappy and they need to be inside. Tons of coloring stuff. Um, nothing really electronic. Just like handheld toys, like things that they can use their imagination. We do have access to put a TV in here, but I really, really don't want to put a TV in here, so we don't. Um, we're camping. I want them to be outside, and if they're not going to be outside, they can be in here coloring. It's good in my book. And Remington's bed is exactly the same. He has his bins and then all of our excess coats while traveling and stuff, we just put out here at the end of his bed. Um, and then throughout the trip, if they get used, we hang them on the hooks and stuff like that. So they're not forever in his way. The freezer, we have packed pretty well. Um, he saw me make the taco meat and the breakfast burritos and hot dogs and sausage and steaks. Again, can't go camping without fireball or bacon. And then our fridge, which I was super surprised. I thought we were gonna have to take a cooler to hold all our food for a whole week. Um, I was able to get it all to fit. And we do have access to go to a grocery store if we need to, but I wanted to make it so we didn't have to if we didn't need to. So I have all our fruits and veggies. That's the one thing I think we'll run out of first is milk and fruits and vegetables because we love dips and veggies while we're camping. So. This is what we're working with. And then our pantry. I was also pretty surprised how much we could get in here. But we have our sunflower seeds and marshmallows. And then this is like the buns and the bread. Just because I don't want anything to get smushed. So it's all on its own. This is like all the condiments, cans, seasonings, and then our little snack bag. This is all the snacks we have. We just have fruit snacks and then some protein bars. Up here we have some trail mix and cereal. We've never ate cereal while camping before, but I figured keep it easy for the boys and then crackers and stuff up there for them and stuff for s'mores. Down below, we just have like all our electronic cords and so we don't have to pack our own cords there are already some in here. Um, flashlights and then we have gum because you can't go wrong with gum. And then my parents' trailer and my sister's trailer had TVs and DVD players and so I did bring some DVDs just in case when we are going to the coast, it might rain a lot on us. <laughs> And then I have just Ziplocs and um, tin foil wrap and then chip clips down here. In the bathroom, it's set up for driving. So when we're parked, obviously this stuff gets out of the sink, but this way it doesn't fall around all over on us. I just have extra trash bags and like hand towels down below. And here we have these Velcroed in so we can keep them in if we want or they can stay put, which is nice. Um, Q-tips, hair clips, and then I'll pack my little makeup toiletry bag. We keep our toothbrushes and we always have toothpaste, comb, contact solution, stuff like that. It's uh, Flonase, deodorant, things like that that we just leave in at all times so we don't have to worry about packing it and or forgetting it. Tons of hooks to hang up wet stuff and towels. Right now we're hanging up the baskets because there's stuff um, in the wash or in the shower. But once we get parts, we move this stuff out and these go in there and that's where all our dirty clothes go. So it's out of sight, out of mind. 
we've never actually used the shower yet where we are going has showers and so we might use this might not we'll see but I have towels I have beach towels I have all our shampoo and soap um, anything and everything like bathroom related needed is in here I am super excited for this trip I haven't been to the coast in like 20 years and I've been like procrastinating packing all day long just because I had so much laundry I needed to get done and I hate putting laundry away, but it is 10 15. I just have one load of laundry to put away. It's pretty much all my stuff. Put that away, clean the kitchen from prepping all the food. It's a disaster right now. So I just, need, well, it's more so just the stove top. I just need to clean off the stove and then get, I'm not going to pack very much makeup, but I have to pack like my vitamins and my glasses and my contacts and stuff like that. So I'll get that all packed up and then we're good to go. We're gonna get on the road about seven or eight in the morning. And then my in-laws and my sister and her husband will meet us on the road and we will get there. So follow along in the next couple of vlogs, I'll have like our trip. I'm thinking I'll break it up into two parts just to make it easier, but that's if I remember to vlog. Like, I don't know if I will or not. Like I. I'm hoping that I vlog, but if I'm in the moment, and also when we're camping, I don't keep my phone on, like, which sucks because I don't ever have any pictures. And so this last camp trip, I was really good about keeping it on me sometimes so I could just take pictures, but I just want to be in the moment and I don't want to always get my phone out. So fingers crossed, I remember to vlog. If not, I'll tell you about it another time. Thank you so much for watching. Wish us safe travels and I will catch you later and I'll let you know all about the trip. Bye.